Now, in order to understand how exactly this virtual document object model works, imagine you had an object that you modeled around a student. It had every relevant property a student could possibly have and mirrored the student's current state. This is basically what React does with the document object model. Now think about if you took that object and made some changes. For instance, you added a course to that particular student object. In React land, when we apply these changes, two things takes place. First, React runs a diffing algorithm which identifies what exactly has changed. And the second step is reconciliation where it updates the document object model with the results of diff. The way React works rather than taking the real student and rebuilding them from the ground up, it would only change the attributes which we have updated. This means that if you had text in an input and a render took place, as long as the input's parent node wasn't scheduled for reconciliation, the text would stay undisturbed.